Get away from me, stupid thing! Steer clear of Tor Dreyok, stranger. Those strange moats are everywhere. I saw one of them turn a cow into a person. I'm getting out of here before one of them gets me. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a farm animal. I don't know. I was just trying to cut through the area around the old wizard's tower there when I spotted those strange... moats. It was chaos. Unnatural things started happening, and then one of the moats started chasing me. No, not that I've ever seen. And I take that shortcut almost every day. The magister who lives there and his Khajiit assistant, Ember, are nice enough. I hope they're all right. But I'm not crazy enough to go back. You look brave. Maybe you could? Watch yourself, stranger. There's some errant magic out here. I hope you don't mind me saying so, but you look like someone who's good at cleaning up messes. I've got a big one for you, if you're up for it. I'd pay you for your time, but I need someone quick on their feet. This mess is turning into a crisis. I was experimenting with a spell while my mentor, Magister Eren, was away, but... The magic went awry. If it doesn't get dealt with, it's going to spread beyond this area and harm a bunch of innocent people. I can't fix it on my own, so I need help. I need to develop a counter spell, but first their protective wards around the area need to be restored by someone other than myself, so I don't taint the magic. That's where you come in. Like I said, if you help, I can pay. Hold still. You'll need this unless you want to spend the next few hours as a sheep. Not as glamorous as it sounds. And here, take these crystals. You'll need them to restore the wards. The first one is in the meadow just up the hill to the north. Mostly they serve to keep errant magic inside Tordriak's boundaries. You know, the standard three points of protection thing. Unfortunately, my spell kicked those wards in the teeth. They're not protecting anything now. The spell I created has my magical mark on it, if that makes sense. There are certain types of magic that can be affected by their creator, intentionally or not. Messing with forces already attuned to you can have unpredictable results. Exactly. Magic is powerful and great and all that, but it can be pretty sensitive. Fussy, Magister Irin likes to say. And since my spell is already wreaking havoc across Tordreok, I'd rather not take any unnecessary risks while fixing it. Here we are. I'm going to cast a little purifying spell while you place the crystal so nothing disturbs us. Let's do this quick. That's one ward restored. Let's go fix the next one. It's in the glade just west of here.
Here we are. I'll make sure nothing gets in our way. Oh, you're a natural. Maybe you should have been Magister Eren's apprentice. The last ward is south of here, inside a cave. This is the last one. Let's get this over with quick. Place the ward in crystal. That's all the wards. Let's talk outside. I need to figure out what to do next. I know my rogue spell is to blame for most of the weirdness happening around Tordreok, but it almost seems like these damned moats are becoming dangerous. They're doing more than just mischievous magic. Ugh, fish biscuits. I need to figure this out. I'm not sure. The moats aren't new. They're always hanging around Tordreok. I think they're drawn to places like this, but there was nothing in my spell that should have made them act malevolent. And there are a lot more around than usual. Yes, I can make traps to contain them, but I'm still worried about their behavior. While I work on the traps, could you head into the tower and look to Magister Eren's things? He might have a book with more information about the moats. See if you can find anything in the tower about the moats. I'll meet you there and start on the traps. cat like you. Relax, Holdressa. I'm working on it. You better work fast, because when Magister Irin... What the... Oh! <laughs> All right. That was a little funny.
You in here? Did you find anything useful about the moats? I finished the traps. Once we set them up, they should take care of the moats. Then I can sort out the livestock and hold Dressa, and at some point create a counterspell to fix everything for good. Did you learn anything useful? Oh, I read that one with the Wind Sorrow Lady, right? Oh, what if my spell disturbed her and that's why the moats are acting up? That's troubling, and also a problem for future Ember. Let's focus on one thing at a time. Or two things, actually. The traps are finished, but the livestock and Hildressa are still a problem. I want to figure out a way to return them all to their natural forms before the illusion does any damage. Could you set the traps while I do that? Here, I'll mark some places to set the traps. They're in a pack by the work tables outside. While you do that, I'll figure out how to fix the livestock and Hildressa. Then I can work on my counter spell. Meet me by the livestock pens when you're done. Good luck setting up the traps. I'll meet you by the livestock pens when you're finished. All right, let's get you two back to your regular chicken self. Ha! I knew it would work! Run along, lady! You're back! The traps worked, didn't they? See? I told you I know what I'm doing. Mostly. Speaking of which, I think I figured out a way to return the livestock to their original forms. I made something. I know it looks like a spoon, but... Well, technically it is a spoon, but I enchanted it. And I call it the Spoon of Undo. I just tested it on those chickens. It removes the illusions perfectly. Normally I wouldn't bother, but illusions can be disorienting and cause terrible headaches. I don't want any of the animals suffering while I come up with my counter spell. Oh, and Huldressa. I suppose I don't really want her suffering either. Here. Take the Spoon of Undo. If you could run around and fix the livestock and Hildressa, that will give me a chance to finally whip up this counterspell. By the time you're finished, I'm sure I'll have something figured out. Just look around for people making animal noises. I'm sure they won't be hard to find. And tell them I'm sorry when you change them back, would you? As for Hildressa, I'm all in favor of leaving her as a guar. <laughs> Just kidding. Kind of. <laughs> It sounds cute when you say it. It's a pretty simple reversing enchantment. It should counteract the magic from the moats and dispel the illusion. Basic stuff, not even I can mess up. I'll be in the tower working on the counter spell. Come find me when you're done.
I just a guar? This is all Ember's fault. I assume Huldressa is back to her charming self? I've run into a problem. I have good news and bad news. The good news is that I've nearly finished my counter spell, but I need to find a tome called the Mirrored Way to complete it. I know Magister Irin has it, but it's not with the rest of his books. That's the bad news. Because if the Mirrored Way isn't with the rest of his things, it's probably locked away in his arcane library. The library he specifically forbids me from entering. The tome I need has to be in there. Without it, I can't make the counter spell. Magister Irin has warned me not to enter his library a thousand times. But these are special circumstances. There will probably be some magical traps inside meant to keep me out. So I'll need your help getting the book while I deal with them. Once we find the mirrored way in Magister Irin's library, I can finish my counter spell. I just hope the old man wasn't serious about putting something dangerous inside to keep me out. <laughs> he was definitely kidding. Had to be. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Not sure. I picked the lock on the place as soon as I figured out he didn't want me getting in there. He since put up protections and told me to stay out unless I have his permission. I'm sure he's got some kind of ward or barrier set up. It wasn't hard. Mages like Magister Irin tend to think in very magical ways. They'll put magic reinforcements over every inch of a place, but forget a few pins and a good ear can foil them. And to be fair to him, I'm a very good lockpick. Follow me, the library is downstairs. Give me just a moment to pick the lock. All right, let's get in and out as quick as we can. I don't sense anything. Maybe the old man was bluffing. Fish biscuits! the way down. You focus on getting the book. You got it! Now let's get out of here before I set off something else. Magister Irin really didn't want me getting in. I didn't know the old man had it in him. He had something to target me specifically. What a sneaky old goat. <laughs> Good thing I had you with me. You managed to get the book, right? Let me see it. Let me take a look. Hmm. Mm -mm. No, not that. That would be bad. What about this? Oh, here it is. It's Amahan is Texas, not Gahan and Mexis is. <laughs> Good thing I checked. See? That's personal growth right there.
two different arcane glyphs. They do entirely different things when written and pronounced aloud. The second one is what I need for my counter spell. Now all that's left is to get to the old ritual circle and cast this. I'll need your help again. The counter spell should set everything right in Tordreyak. Things will be just as Magister Irin left them, and I won't have to face his furrowed brow. I'll need your help at the ritual site. Casting a spell this big is a two-person job. The ritual circle is just up the hill. I'll meet you there. I'm here. First, we need to set the ritual flame. There's three around the site. Light the three ritual flames here. I'll get the ones on the altar. Disturb not my rest, foul creature. Follow me. We should be able to see it materialize. Any second now! It worked! We did it! Come on, let's get back to the tower. Use 
to work under these conditions. I was turned into a Guar. A Guar! Of course, full dresser. I promise to address the situation. See that you do. Huldressa sold me out, didn't she? Let me speak to your associate first, Ember. So, you were witness to the events here. And as I understand it, you had a hand in bringing them to an end. For that, I thank you. And if you'll indulge me, I do have a few lingering questions. What in the world happened? I don't know what I expected, leaving her to her own devices here, even temporarily. Ember and Trouble are old friends. I can still feel the repercussions of this spell gone uh, awry, as you say. Uh, do I have you to thank for rectifying it? I see. As trying as she can be, she truly is a talented mage. She can be impatient. Given her natural inclination to magic, it's understandable. I always knew I was perhaps not the best teacher for her. I took her in because I knew I couldn't leave someone as skilled and impulsive as her to her own devices. But I have neither the time nor aptitude to teach her properly. It's my own failing. Speak, Yoru, would you? I must collect my thoughts. <laughs> Don't worry. Ember isn't in any trouble. While I am not pleased about my traumatized cook, I, I must concede that everything is back in order and the consequences of Ember's magic weren't dire. Still, I must consider what to do now. I don't mean to give the impression that Ember is incapable of learning. That's not the case. She's a bright mage, one of the brightest I've ever seen. Everything I've taught her, she's taken to like flame to parchment. But therein lies the problem. Well, just like a flame, Ember wants to devour everything around her. Her appetite for knowledge is ceaseless. Uh, that's good quality in a mage, but not necessarily one I'm equipped to deal with. By my own admission, I'm methodical, cautious. By the books. Exactly right. Ember needs someone who can keep up with her. Someone who thrusts themselves headlong into adventure so that she may temper herself and her magic beside them. Perhaps when I was younger, I could have been that for her, but not now. Hey, you. Let's talk while Magister Eren collects his thoughts. I thought Magister Eren would be as mad as a wet dragon, but he looks amused. It's probably because he's wanted to turn Hodressa into a guar at some point. He just won't admit it. And the fact that we fixed it all before he got here helped. Well, I've been thinking. I'm grateful to Magister Eren, but sitting and reading about magic has little appeal to me. This whole thing just proved to me that I'm too restless here. I want to do magic, not just study it. Go on adventures, see things! I think it's time. I've been given good training here, but I still have a lot to learn. For me, the best teachers are curiosity and experience. I learn best by doing, so I need to get out in the world and continue my training. Ember the Sorcerer. <laughs> I like the sound of that, but that can come later. First, take this. It's not much, but you deserve it. I think we made a good team today. If you ever need a sorcerer who has your back, let me know. <laughs> We'd have some fun. Magister Eren, I'm grateful for your teachings, and your patience, but I think it's time for me to move on. The world is an excellent teacher for one of your talents, Ember. Do write me occasionally. I should go pack my things, and say goodbye to Holdressa. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs>